I want to really thank your administration, thank Dr. Griffin and the other administrators for allowing me to be here. Um, I'm going to tell you guys something real quick. Everybody listen up real fast. I'm going to tell y'all something real fast. One of the best feelings and one of the best things we could ever do is to do what we love. To, to really do what we love and to be able to be here before you all today, it gives me joy because I get to do what I love every day. I get to get before a group of young people and to be able to inspire, empower them. And to, the, the, the biggest hope is that they leave me and they're better. And so really that's my hope today. My hope is that as you all leave the doors today, even as you're having your fun, when you leave here, something that I say, it provokes not only your thoughts, but it also provokes change in your actions. Not, not to say that anything's wrong with you, but that it's something that helps make you better. And so I, I want to talk real quick just from just, just a couple things, all right? I just want to highlight two things for you. And, 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 and as, I, as I was thinking about what I was going to talk to you guys about, um, I was thinking about how my life experience have, ha, has brought me to what I want to talk to you about. Because one of the things that I found out through my life experiences, right, whether it be through my failures or whether it be through the things I was successful at, one of the things that I've learned is that at some point, over the course of our lives, we're going to have to answer for the decisions we make. We'll also have to answer for the decisions that we don't make. The decisions that we don't make, don't make. Because if you don't know, I want you to understand that not making a decision is a decision. Doing nothing is a choice. And what I want you to know is I don't mean that literally. Like, I don't mean in the literal sense that one day somebody's going to say to you, hey, you made these choices, you made these decisions, and now you have to give me an answer. I, I don't mean that literally. But I, I know that here at school, sometimes you may make a choice, you might make a decision, you might get into trouble, and you might have to explain yourself, right? You might be at home, and you might do something, and you have to explain yourself. But today, what I mean is that our choices that we make on a day-to-day -day basis over the course of our lives, they're going to lead to certain results. They're going to lead to certain results. And those results many times are results that we have to live with. We'll make a decision, we'll make a choice, and the result of that decision is something that we have to live with. And that brings us to answering for our decisions. And so I want, to make it, I want to make it real simple for you guys because I want to make sure that you understand fully what I mean by that. So, so here, here's an example. You guys are in school and you guys are taking different subjects. You're, you're taking different courses. And no matter the course that you take, no matter, no matter what subject that it is, at some point you're going to have a test. You're going to have a test, right? Your teacher has a lesson plan. They, they have a, a, time, a time in which they're going to go over that lesson plan. And at some point during that lesson plan, they're going to say, hey, this is the date of your test. This is the date of your test. And, and they're giving you that because they want, to, they want to give you an opportunity and they want to give you time to prepare. They want to give you time to prepare. They want to give you an opportunity to give your very best. And here's the thing, with that time, you have two choices. You can either prepare, you can study, or you can decide I'm not going to prepare. Remember, doing nothing is a choice. Now, depending upon what choice you make, depending upon what decision you make, will also depend on your result. So if you decide to do nothing and you decide not to prepare, it will likely give you results that you don't desire. And so therefore you have to live with that result and that is you answering for your choices. Answering for the decision not to prepare. And let me tell you guys why this is important. And, I, and here again, I said I only got two things for you. And this is important because today what I want you all to walk away knowing and understanding is that it is never too early to prepare for the results that you want for your life. It's never, too early. it's never too early to prepare for what you desire for your life. And here's why that statement is so important. Here's why I really want you to understand that because there are adults that are in here. There are teachers, there are administrators, there are counselors, there are staff members, faculty members that are in here. And I guarantee you, every single one of them remembers being you. 
like me, right? We remember being in middle school. We remember being in high school. We remember going to college. And the one thing that we remember doing is wasting time. We remember wasting time. And we wasted time because we believed the lie that we told ourselves. We believed that we had time. We believed that we had time. We believed that, hey, I'm young. I'm only in middle school. I'm only in high school. So you know what? This life thing, this, this thing that everybody takes so serious, I don't really have to worry about it right now. I just, I, I can have fun right now. So we wasted time. And I want you to understand today that it's never too early to begin to prepare for the results that you want. Because here's what happened. Once you make the decision that, hey, it's never too early for me to begin to prepare for my results, the decisions that I make have to reflect that decision. The decisions, the choices that I make have to lead me to the results that I desire. And understand this, once we make that decision, once we make that choice, that you know what, I know that I don't have to wait. Whatever dreams that I have, whatever goals that I have, I can actually begin to prepare for that now. And because I made that decision, the choices that I make, the people that I decide to hang with, the places that I decide to go, they have to reflect that choice. And so once we make that choice, guys, here's something that you have to understand is that there's a very important conversation that you have to have with yourself. And notice I said it's a conversation that you have to have with yourself. Listen, it's not a conversation for mom and dad, for your brother, your sister, that teacher that loves you, that really cares about you. No, I'm talking about a one on one conversation with you and yourself. And I'm going to tell you, I'm a very simple guy. I'm, I'm real simple, right? And so this conversation is real simple. It's very short. It's not long. It's not a whole lot of back and forth. It's just you by yourself. Hopefully there's a mirror that you can go to, and you can go into this place, and you can look yourself in the face, and you can confidently say, I am unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. And you say it to yourself so many times that you convince yourself and you believe it. And you walk away with that conversation with a belief that you are unstoppable. And let me tell you the two reasons why it's important to have that conversation with yourself. Because it's, it's extremely important that it's just you. Because the very first reason is, I understand that you have a lot of people that love you. You have people that, that you trust. You have people that you know that you can go to. But understand this, we're human. We're human. And so because we're human, that conversation with somebody else could likely lead them to possibly judging your ability to be unstoppable based on your deficiencies. It's very possible that they'll judge you based on the mistakes that you made, based on the things that you're not good at, based off the failures that you had. They'll judge you. They'll judge your ability to do it. And the reality is you don't need that negativity because here's some truth for us all. The truth is we all have deficiencies. The truth is we all have things that we're not good at. The truth is that everybody in this room experienced failures last year. Everybody in this room experienced mistakes last week. And if we allowed ourselves to maneuver through life, to go after things that we want based off our deficiencies, we would live in a world where mediocrity reigns supreme. When the truth is, guys, we live in a world where there are zero limits on what you can capture for your life. There, there are zero limits to the success that you can have. See, there's just a decision that you have to make. The, the second reason why it's important to have that conversation with yourself, because the truth is there's only one person that has to believe that you're unstoppable. There, there's only one person that has to believe that you are unstoppable, and that one person is you. 
Listen, whatever purposes that's inside of you, whatever purpose, whatever goals, whatever dreams that are inside of you, there's literally only one person that has to believe that it is possible and it is you. It's not mom. You don't need dad to believe. You don't need your friend that you know loves you to believe. You don't need that trusted teacher to believe. Literally, it is just you that needs to walk out of the conversation knowing that you are unstoppable and you make the decisions and choices to go be unstoppable. Just you. Just you. The conversation between just you, the choices that you make are for you. And I'm going to tell you, since, 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 since speaking, since I've had the opportunity to do this, one of the things I've fallen in love with, I've fallen in love with the English language. And I'm going to be honest, when I was in school, I was horrible at language arts. I was really bad at it, right? But, but I've, I've learned to love it because the one thing that I understand is that words, when we understand the meaning, it gives the word power. It, 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 gives, it gives it life. And so we're going to give a little bit of life to the word unstoppable. Because the word unstoppable, according to Webster's Dictionary, it means that it is something, there is something or someone that is incapable of being stopped. Can you imagine yourself? I want you to imagine yourself incapable of being stopped, not being stopped by your failures, not being stopped by your deficiencies, not being stopped by the things that you're not good at, not being stopped at what everybody says that you can't do. Being incapable of being stopped, being like a truck with no wheels, with, with no brakes. Unmovable unshakable and unstoppable and so here's here's the thing here's the thing and I'm almost done guys when we when when we understand that there is purpose inside of us when you understand that you have something that you have to accomplish and something that you want to go after and you have some goals that you really want to achieve and you actually believe in those things so you have to want it so bad that there's literally nothing and no one that can stop you. Like, like, so, so, so going after your goal and somebody telling you no won't stop you. Going after your goal and you, and you having some pitfalls, you having some things that don't go exactly the way you plan won't stop you. Somebody bringing up the things that you don't do well won't have the ability to stop you. Understanding that the only person that has to believe Understanding that the decisions that you're going to make got to have to lead you to the results that you want. Being unstoppable has to be your choice. When you, when you leave out of these doors today, there are decisions that you have to make. There are choices. There are choices about who you're going to hang with that you have to make. Because understand this, guys. that one day we're going to have to answer for our decisions. And once you make the decision that I'm going to be unstoppable, you have to be sure that the choices and the decisions that you make on a day-to-day -day basis, that they lead you to what it is you say you want to accomplish, who it is you say that you want to be. Because when your results come, that will be you answering for the choices that you made and the choices that you didn't make. And so you want to be able to look back on your decisions. You want to be able to look back on your journey. And you want to be able to say, I'm proud of me. I'm very proud of me. I knew that I could do this. I knew that this was possible. I knew that there were people who didn't believe in me. I knew that there were people that doubted me. But I'm proud of me. And I knew that I was unstoppable. Listen, guys, I want to thank you all so much for allowing me to speak to you guys. It has really been an honor and a pleasure. I do hope that you all believe today that you are unstoppable. Thank you all.